What is up, everyone, and welcome to day five? Yes, day five of the Mini Cup Vlog series. Today is a leg day, legs B session, which is unfortunately the exact same as legs A, so no variety there. Um, it is absolutely freezing outside, and I decided to wear shorts today for some reason uh, because my special leg day pants are dirty, and I didn't get a chance to wash them, so... Unfortunately, I am wearing shorts, although I don't usually wear shorts to the gym. Uh, I usually wear like baggy pants and an oversized shirt just because, I don't know, it's it's kind of my thing. But yeah, let's just head on to the gym and warm up this car. Um, I usually would probably set up, you know, warm up my car beforehand. All right, so on to the leg day voiceover. Uh, honestly, I sped up a lot of these clips just because, I mean, it's the same exact leg day as it was before. Obviously, again, I'm not squatting or deadlifting right now. So, you know, I'm just doing leg curls, leg extensions, calf raises, adductors, abductors, pretty much. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. But anyway, uh, before I actually talk about the questions that I wrote down, I did I do want to say that I am getting a haircut. Uh, as you can see, this is kind of turning into just a bird's nest, uh, which is not good. I'm losing all the flow. The the bottom of the hair, the back is just getting way too long. Uh, so I do have a haircut scheduled on Monday. What is today? Sunday? Saturday? It is Saturday, January 6th. So I do have a haircut schedule. Do not worry, folks. It is not going to get cut nearly as short as last time. That was, that was, you know, it wasn't really that bad, to be honest. I did ask my barber to go pretty short. So that's why she went short. But, uh, and she's actually not a barber. She's a hairstylist. It's a hair salon, not a barber shop. But anyway, uh, let's get on to the questions because, uh, I made this short. So I think I only have a probably like eight minutes left. But anyway, Christopher, uh, not Christopher, Christopher asks, how important do you think bulking is? I'm 12% body fat. Should I bulk? Now I wanted to include this question because obviously you guys know I'm, you know, Oh, God. Oh, here we go again. I'm bulking. I'm not bulking. I'm cutting, but I bulked for, you know, a year and a half, 12 months. So bulking is something I highly recommend doing, but when it comes to making the decision for yourself, there's a couple, th there's a couple things to look for. Number one, what is your current body fat? You say you're 12%, you know, regardless of whether or not you're actually 12%, because a lot of people, you know, not just you specifically, I'm not calling you out, but a lot of people do miss you know, misjudge and underestimate the body fat they are. You know, some people are 12% when, or they think they're 12% when they're actually 15%. But let's, let's say you are actually 12%. I would highly recommend bulking if you want to build muscle. At the end of the day, you know, this whole gym thing, the reason people work out is not always to build muscle. If you're just in the gym to be healthy and you don't want to eat a lot of food, you don't want to stuff your face, you know, you don't really care about building, you know, the most muscle possible possible in the most efficient way possible, then bulking probably isn't for you. You'd be just fine eating maybe in a very small caloric surplus if it's like even 100 calories above your maintenance, or even if it's just your maintenance calories, that's totally fine if you just don't want to bulk. At the end of the day, right? Like bulking is important for muscle growth, but it's not absolutely necessary, right? So if you do want to build the most muscle possible, if you do care about achieving your greatest physique in the most efficient time span, then yes, I would recommend bulking. 12% body fat is probably a good place to start. If you're, I would say if you're over 15% body fat, even, even if you've got just a little bit of fat on you, you might want to do a short mini cut, even if it's like three weeks, just to shred off all that fat and then, you know, get, set you up for a very nice place to start bulking because bulking is something that should be, you know, at least six months. If, if you're doing anything, you know, less than six months, it's, you're probably not giving yourself enough time to build, you know, as much muscle as possible. So, you know, <clears throat> when you set yourself up uh, in a good spot by doing that mini cut, you're going to be able to bulk for a little bit longer without, you know, gaining excess fat. So uh, if, if you're over 15%, maybe, you know, look, just assess yourself and, and, you know, ask yourself, okay, could I, could I use, or would it be worth it to lose some fat before starting, you know, an eight month bulk? If that's, if that's the case, then, you know, even if you don't have a lot of fat, it could just be worth it to shred that off and set yourself up for a nice long bulk. So should, so Chris Topher, should you bulk? If you want to build muscle maximally in the most efficient way, yes, you should bulk. I recommend six to eight months. I actually have an entire bulking video 
that I posted probably like two years ago now, but it still holds up. It's a very good video. There's a couple things I would I would change about the way I mentioned training. I think I did say that training, um, you know, you damage your muscle fibers to grow back stronger. That's something I believed in back in the day, but that is obvi that has obviously been proven false. That is not how training works. Uh, you don't damage your muscle fibers for them to grow back stronger. You stimulate your muscle fibers so that hypertrophy can occur, and you do that by training, obviously, closer to failure so that, your you know, your concentric velocity decreases, and then mechanical tension can happen as a result. So that's the only thing I would change about that video, but if you want to know more about bulking, I'll probably put a picture on the screen of that video. I'll put a link in the description and definitely go check it out because it is a very, very detailed video. Uh, anyway, moving on to the next question, we've got Aggie Bro says, why don't you barbell bench? All right, I still got some time here. Uh, why don't I barbell bench? Uh, I don't barbell bench. I don't barbell anything anymore. No barbell rows, barbell squats, nothing like that, simply because when you use a barbell or when you use free weights, you lose stability uh, on the muscle. And obviously, when your goal is to work the muscle, you want as little limiting factors as possible, or in other words, you know, factors that limit you from taking that muscle to failure. So if you don't know what a limiting factor is, basically when you know you do a barbell squat, there is obviously factors other than your quads at play. You know, your low back strength, cardio, breathing, you know, bracing and balance, all these factors that play into what actually fails and limits you during that movement. So if you have all these factors that are limiting you, it's taking the work away from the quads and, you know, distributing it across all these other factors. And when it comes to actually training effectively, you want that specific muscle, you know, your quads on a barbell squat, you want that muscle to be the only thing that limits you. You want that muscle to be the only thing preventing you from lifting the weight because that's how you take that muscle to failure without other, you know, muscles getting in the way and preventing you from doing that. So that is why I don't barbell bench, similar reason, because you have to focus now more on stabilizing yourself, you know, keeping the bar path straight, you know, balancing in between arms, um, and it's taking the work away from your chest. Is it gonna make a huge difference you know, at the end of the day, probably not. If you love barbell benching and you can't give it up, by all means, go barbell bench. You're working out for yourself. It doesn't matter, you know, even if it's less efficient. At the end of the day, if you love barbell benching, you know, go do it. It doesn't matter. But obviously, if your goal is to build the most, the biggest chest possible, then yes, um, a more stable machine press will always be better than a barbell bench press just because you can now focus on just pushing the weight with as much brute force as possible with your chest as opposed to you know balancing with a barbell and you know your 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 strength won't be you know one to one it won't be linear so ow, ouch just hurt myself on my table but uh yes the last question is from matt I had to swallow there. I had a little bit of saliva building up. Do you periodize your training? How often do you deload? So I was a big believer in deloads probably last year, but I haven't deloaded. Well, I did do that like 10 day rest period, which I guess, you know, counts as a deload. But in terms of deloads, I, I don't necessarily like, I don't necessarily put them into my training routine in a fixed schedule. I don't do like any sort of eight week training block or anything like that. I think I've been running the exact same program for like six months now and I've obviously slowly continued to make progress. But if you're losing progress, if your progress, you know, plateaus for more than three weeks, four weeks, maybe three weeks, then and then that's probably a sign that fatigue has built up and you're no longer able to progress on those movements. So a deload will probably be necessary. Number one, you can utilize that deload to change up your exercises and dissipate, you know, any any fatigue that's built up on those exercises that are, is preventing you from uh, increasing the weight on them. And also you can, you know, dissipate your CNS fatigue, get, get yourself a, a nice rest from the gym, you know, dump out all that that negative energy that is you know impacting your your workouts and uh, you can you know take some time off and then come back stronger when you're nice and fresh but i would say only only do that when you know you're not plat or you are plateauing your your exercises are not going up uh, and that's kind of what i do i kind of just assess how my training is going throughout you know the weeks and if it's really bad and you know i'm super tired i i, I just have a lot of fatigue built up then i'd take a, a little bit of a deload but um, yeah, how, uh, in terms of how you deload, it doesn't really matter whether or not you want to take a lot of time off the gym, um, you know, 
like you, you can either not go to the gym completely or you can just you know decrease your volume and do maybe half the sets you normally do with some lighter weight uh, and just take it like that but that's what i would say uh, and that wraps up all the questions for today's video uh, here is me doing a one minute hold on a calf raise set and that is it let's get back to the car and that is it for legs i just wrapped up with 25 minutes of cardio why does the lighting look so bad Huh. Um, I'm going to keep this probably nice and short. I don't think I'm going to uh, drive off with the camera on just because it's snowing uh, and it's probably not a good idea to record uh, and talk while I'm driving. Uh, so yeah, leg day was okay. Honestly, I was pretty low on energy. So um, I think most of my lifts stayed the same except for, I think I may have lost a rep on the second set of leg extensions and my calf raises felt really fucking sluggish for some reason. Uh, but it was a hard workout. Honestly, I'm, I'm super low on energy right now, which is weird because, uh, you know, my, my pumps aren't fantastic. So I might have to play around with my carb intake a little bit and maybe do some more cardio so that I can burn more calories and eat more calories. I might have to do something like that. Uh, but we'll see. Honestly, I got to turn this car on uh, and start defrosting this because there is snow all over the place. I just wiped it down, but... Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the workout. Um, got a nice pool session tomorrow, so I'm going to get out of here, uh, and I hope you guys have a good night.